What's up, y'all? Welcome to Epiphany Tarot. This is going to be a reading for Cancer, okay? Cancer, tap in. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. All that good shit. I'm going to show y'all the cards that I got. And we're going to get to it, okay? So, the first card I got out is the Hangman in the upright. We got the Five of Pentacles in the upright. We got the Death card in the upright. Um... And the bottom of the deck is a page of wands, but I'm going to get to that, okay? Um, Cancer, I feel like you could either be, like, having an epiphany um, or, like, it's like you're having a, you know, a realization about something. It's like you're looking at something from a different perspective now with a hangman here. I feel like you now realize um why you had to sacrifice something or why something was sacrificed because the hangman can talk about a change in perspective it talks about looking at a situation from a different angle being enlightened about something so I feel like Cancer, you're realizing why you had to sacrifice a situation or it could be vice versa. Somebody's realizing why they had to sacrifice you. Because I feel like you're realizing that you have to leave somebody out in the cold. It could be an earth sign, but it doesn't have to be. could be a Libra too, because Uncle Snoop is a Libra. I feel like this, this could be a baby daddy, a friend, a brother, a relative, whoever. But I feel like you're realizing that you trying to help someone or being attached to someone was causing you some type of obstacle or delay. And I feel like whoever this person is, is in the, this could be somebody who's a part of a gang. Um, you know, I see Crips out here. So, you know, but it could be anything. But this could be somebody who's struggling financially. Five of Pentacles, they could even be homeless. I'm hearing liver, living pillar to post. Um, this could be somebody who smokes. They smoke cigarettes, black and mild, cigars, something, or weed. I feel like this person's in the Five of Pentacles. Though. Like they feel like you you left them out in the cold, or you left them out to dry, or you're rejecting them. Like I feel like it's a high priestess out here too with this death energy. It's like this is somebody who believes in the most high, somebody who believes in God, but they still live life on their own terms. And it's not that they don't follow a righteous or a conscious path. It's just that they don't do it the traditional way as everybody else. But they're still God fearing. They're still on the path to righteousness. Their way to do it is just different. It's like somebody's more like a, a rebel out, a rebel out here. So I'm picking up on two feminine energies, but I don't know yet. I'm going to wait. Because I feel like something or someone has been sacrificed out here. But it's like somebody still feels like they're stuck. Let's see, Cancer. What's going on here? What's the message here for cancer? Yeah, it says shook, plot twist, unexpected event, sudden change. Yeah, I'm telling you, like somebody is like, this is like epiphany, a sudden realization, a plot twist here in the recent past. It's like somebody is like in shock that they actually are the sacrifice. I feel like that's what's going on here. It's like somebody's in shock that they're the ones that's actually being let go of or released or... Yeah, viral. It says instant fame going around quickly gaining popularity. 
So something here is going viral about somebody, but I ain't gonna lie, it don't feel that great. It doesn't feel like good news, whatever is going viral about somebody. Yeah, I feel like I feel like either you cancer, either you cancer or somebody else. It's like somebody like attacked somebody. They did something to somebody, but didn't realize that it was going to cause them to get sacrificed. So there's a plot twist. Somebody tried to like set you out or expose you or or you did this to somebody only to realize like that people are going against you too, as well as this person. Something here went viral. It says instant fame going around quickly, gaining popularity. It's like people are looking at something or watching at something online on your page and like, is leaving somebody in the five of pentacles, some man. And he could be like a part of a gang or he's known as like a thug or he's known in the streets or some shit. Like I said, this could be your baby daddy, your little boo thing, whoever you were fucking with. But something here that's going viral about this person is leaving them in the five of pentacles. But it's almost like somebody is like shocked out here that people are going against them too. Yeah, it feels like shame out here. Like, I don't know, Cancer. Because I know the last reading that I did for y'all, it was something about revenge porn. So, like, did somebody, like, actually, like, release some type of, like... <laughs> no, I don't know, Cancer. Ooh, child. Yeah, it says, sorry, not sorry. Unremorseful, of avoiding accountability, neglecting responsibility. Yeah, I told you, a bitch out here don't feel bad about doing this. So I don't know if this is you, Cancer, or this is somebody else. Somebody out here doesn't feel bad for doing this shit. Unremorseful, avoiding accountability, neglecting responsibility. So, yeah, somebody here is like... Somebody doesn't feel bad about what they did, basically. It's like no remorse. Somebody's avoiding accountability. I feel like it's a woman too. It's just like, I don't feel bad. Like, you know, he deserved it. Like you could be exposing somebody or something. Damn. Yeah, the bottom of the deck. That's why somebody doesn't feel bad. Somebody's a spiritual narcissist out here. Wow. So somebody, yeah, somebody was definitely attacking you in the spirit, Cancer. Or this was your ass doing this shit. Yeah, and then the bitch got the audacity to be laid up with somebody. And look how she's wearing, like, the uh, nun uniform as well. So this is a bitch who speaks on God's name or act like she's a believer or act like she's righteous. Like, this is a bitch... Yeah, and she's laid up with somebody up all night, late, rendezvous, spending the night. So this is some type of stank hoe. Like real shit, this is a stank hoe that was sacrificed. And because she was sacrificed and let go of, she outed somebody else or exposed somebody else. I feel like this, 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 whoever this feminine energy is, this spiritual narcissist, I feel like she wanted to be with somebody. But that shit didn't go well. It didn't work out or whatever reason. Or she could have felt like somebody rejected her. They just like, nah, I'm good on you. I don't want you. So she's like, okay, well, since you don't want me and you're sacrificing me, I'm going to expose you too. So she put something out and exposed this person. And now they're in the five of pentacles. And she's like, sorry, not sorry. I don't give a fuck. Like unremorseful. This bitch has no remorse for what she did. And then she got the nerve to be sitting up laid up with somebody else. Morning after... It says up all night, late rendezvous, spending the night. She been letting somebody spend the night in her house, getting plugged. Like, this is a bitch who is sick. Spiritually egotistic, superiority complex, spiritual manipulation. Yeah, this is a bitch who plays in the in the, in the the spirit. And she tries to come off because with her and this, it's like, I don't know. I don't know what this bitch does. She, this could be somebody with a tongue ring possibly, or they used to have one. Or I'm getting somebody with the nose piercing on both sides or somebody with a lip piercing. Yeah, but you see how she has this this uniform on. It's like like she she wanted to put an end to somebody. Look at this shit. 
You see that? The synchronicities of her wearing this nun uniform. So I don't know what she believes in, but I feel like she she is under the impression that she had every right to do this. Like for some reason, her mind tells her that she wasn't in the wrong for doing something. <laughs> what the fuck, Cancer? All right, let's see. is dead inside settling apathetic and bored wanting different things not being oneself so yeah it says dead inside so this is a bitch who she don't got no soul like this this is a crazy bitch out here like real shit dead inside she didn't settle for something where she is settling settling to be a hoe to be washed up to be i don't know it's just apathetic the bitch don't care about much she don't give a fuck about nothing and nobody and she's bored. It says not making much progress, moving forward, rising conflicts and disagreements, lack of trust and honesty, going nowhere. So it's like, bitch, you doing all this wicked ass shit, but it's leading you to nowhere. It's like, that's not going to get you no progress in your life, but I guess this bitch don't care anyway. He says emotional cheating engages in emotional relationships that are outside of the main relationship turns to others for comfort and overshares with others. It says infidelity engages in frequent physical affairs to satisfy cravings, lies about whereabouts and personal relationships with others. Yeah, so I feel like somebody exposed somebody because they know that somebody was cheating. Like this could have been like a situation ship, whoever this man is. It's like they had a sexual relationship with this woman. But I feel like the public didn't know about that. Or for some reason, they wouldn't commit to her or choose her. And she could have caught this person cheating or lying about where they were or who they were with. So because of that, she chose to go the emotional route. You know what I'm saying? When a woman can't control her emotions, she'll do a lot of shit, you know, out of a emotional response it's an emotional reaction so a bitch did some shit or exposed somebody because she was in her feelings basically you know she realized that she was being sacrificed like okay i've been fucking with you nigga like and you're not gonna choose me like you're gonna choose her or be with her or be with them or go back over there and so it's just like okay well since you think you're gonna go back over there after you've been playing with my emotions nigga i'm gonna expose your ass I feel like that's what she did because it's emotional cheating and infidelity out here. So somebody was literally cheating or playing with somebody's feelings. But whoever out here was getting played with is the one that's like exposing somebody. If she's exposed this man, I don't know what she exposed about this man, but that's crazy. Yeah, zombieing. It says returns to someone's life months or years after original ghost thing and tries to reestablish a connection, pretends to be a new person. It says submarining resurfaces out of nowhere, finds their way back without an apology or explanation, tries to reconnect out of boredom or a recent breakup. Yes, yeah, so I feel like these two recently broke up or they recently been like, it's like, it feels like a tower moment just happened out here. It's like, this could be a toxic ass couple who's been like off and on or back and forth and shit. And like, they tried to get back together one last time. And the nigga was still playing in her face. So a bitch out at this nigga in whatever way she could have exposed this person for being gay, um, for cheating, for being homeless with the five of pentacles out here. It's like she aired this nigga out, aired his business out. I feel like they're both soulless, whoever these people are. Like they're both just dead on the inside. It says zombie tries to return to someone's life months or years. But if you're a divine feminine cancer and you're listening to this reading, like be mindful of somebody who's trying to come back towards you because 
the page of wands is on is on the bottom of the deck and i've been that's been coming out heavy in my readings of people trying to reach out or message people and shit like the mercury retrograde is getting ready to start so it's not surprising to see people from your past pop back up but be mindful of somebody reaching out to you out of nowhere because i feel like somebody that they were just dealing with just exposed their ass for something i don't know what though yeah bottom of the deck it says, remember, remember. It says, has a soft spot for X regardless of new person in their life. Feels jealous of X moving on faster than they did. So, yeah, this could be somebody from your past. You know what I'm saying? It's jealous. So, if you're a divine feminine, you got an X from your past who feels some type of way about you moving on. This is somebody who, who still has a soft spot for you. They still love you. They still care about you. Um, but for whatever reason, I mean, like, this person is just a cheater. And they got themselves mixed up with a crazy bitch who gives zero fucks about their ass. And she don't feel no remorse. And she's not taking no accountability for doing this person how she's doing them. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, emotionally, she may feel like she has every right to do this. But two wrongs don't make a right. Just because somebody did something to you don't mean you need to do something to them. You know what I'm saying? but Because it's, it's almost just like you can't really blame that other person. You have to blame yourself for not having better boundaries, for not having more self-love, for not having more self-respect. So if somebody was treating you like a side bitch or trying to keep you a secret or whatever the case may be, who fault is it really? Is it their fault or is it really your fault for allowing them to treat you that way in the first place? Like if you know this nigga was being sneaky or this nigga was lying or whatever the fuck the case may be, then why the fuck were you still fucking with him? Yeah, now I'm hearing somebody cut grass outside. Now, somebody don't want to hear that. They, they don't want to talk about that. Yeah, this is whoever this feminine energy is, this is somebody who doesn't take accountability. She, wanna, she don't want to hear about how she need to have more self-respect and better boundaries and shit. She just want to play victim and she want to like set somebody out or get revenge on somebody else and think that's supposed to be okay like okay bitch yeah it says dating vendetta proves a point to an ex by dating someone new a way to piss off an ex by dating someone more attractive or better so yeah i told you she's laid up with somebody to try to make this person jealous it's like she's doing whatever the fuck she can to get back at this person she's laid up with somebody else or posting somebody else online or social media and shit and trying to expose this person for this five of pentacles shit, for being sick, for being homeless, for something. But it's just like, yeah, she's she's dating someone, but she got a vendetta against her ex, or this is you. Yeah, it's like once the, whoever this spiritual narcissist is, whenever this bitch realized hangman. Hey that she wasn't going to be chosen by this person. It's like that's when she decided to air their ass out. And she running around dating somebody new. Acting like, like oh well. Like, I, it's a bitch out here that's crazy. Yeah, you heard that? Confirmation. I don't even know what the fuck that was. It's like a bitch got some audacity out here, boy. Ooh, wee. Yeah, look at that. Queen of Cups in the reverse. So some of you cancers, this could be your ass doing this shit. This is a bitch, I told you, don't know how to control her emotions. Clingy, codependent. Yeah, this is a bitch who's codependent on relationships is what I'm hearing. Yeah, you see how that noise getting louder? It's like a bitch don't want me to say that. But yeah, Queen of Cups reverse and the Queen of Swords reverse. So this could be a Gemini Cancer Cusper. Yeah, this a bitch out here. Very vengeful, very spiteful. She's a liar. She's ignorant. She's slow, bitter, mean, aggressive. Like the Queen of Swords reverse can be a the Queen of Swords in the upright can be a bitch. But the Queen of Swords in the reverse is a cold hearted bitch. I'm talking about she gives zero fucks about what she's doing because she's acting out of a place of emotion. It's like she's in her feelings. Queen of Cups reverse, feeling jealous, spiteful, vindictive. She's drinking a lot. This is like, bitch, you need to get fucking control of yourself. Like, real shit. Or this could be a man who acts like a female.
It's like, because this bitch plot twist. It's like she couldn't believe that she was the one that ended up getting sacrificed. Like, damn. Like, whoever this Five of Pentacles person is, whoever this man is that's in this gang or whatever the fuck this is. It's like she can't believe that this person didn't choose her or don't want to be with her or was never going to choose her. It's like she finally woke up. It's like she finally came to the realization like, damn, this nigga never ain't. He ain't never finna choose me. He always going to want to be with a divine feminine. So I got something for you, bitch. And she been trying to make this person's life a living hell. Yeah, Six of Pentacles reverse. She been trying to get this person set up. She wants this person ruined to the point where she don't want them to ever be able to, to bounce back or come back or make a name for themselves or reinvent themselves. Like, no, she wants this person like either literally unalive or she wants this person to the, to where they can never make a living for themselves or you know start their life over it's like there's a bitch out here. this is one wicked bitch okay and got the nerve to be calling on god or or speaking god's name like this do you know who you playing with <laughs> Like, ooh, this bitch don't even know, boy, what she got coming. But it's like, you know, she don't give a fuck either. It's like, you don't care, well, bitch, whatever may happen to you, I, I pray that God has mercy on your soul. That's all I can say. Shit. Because this is just, girl, you is not this fucking mad and angry. Like, you're just not. Uh, this could even be this could be somebody who's a, who's adopted or she just has a lot of like issues in regards to her past she has a really dysfunctional um upbringing like her childhood was really fucked up so i don't know yeah the four of pentacles here yeah somebody's holding on to a grudge four of pentacles somebody's just like they just can't let it go this could be somebody who hoards too somebody is a hoarder it's like they hang on to all type of shit that they don't even use or need. So this could be somebody with a lot of shit in their house with the four of pentacles. Or it's like she's trying to hold on to something. Whoever the fuck this is with the four of pentacles or she's holding on to a grudge. Yeah, page of swords. And somebody's like spying. She can have a badass kid too. Um, the page of swords is like an insubordinate child. A child that don't listen. Um, the Page of Swords is one of those kids who always talk back. So it's like she has kids. One of her kids talk back a lot. It's like the Page of Swords is a type of child that's like, like every time you tell them not to do something, they're always like, well, why? You know, why can't I do that? Or why not? Or that type of shit. So she got a badass kid if she has kids. But other than that, this Page of Swords, it's like she could be spying or lurking on somebody on social media watching somebody's page and shit trying to see how something has affected somebody something that she did yeah look at that wheel of fortune reverse Ooh we yeah there was an unexpected change of events and not in a good way somebody out here is going through real bad karma and it's out of their control with the wheel of fortune reverse it's like this is a series of unfortunate events taking place uh, somebody feels like they got bad luck. Mm -mm, something out here is a fucking shit show. A real shit, yeah. And the four of swords here. And I feel like this bitch is just at home, chilling, doing self-care or trying to do self-care, doing facials and shit. Acting like she's not responsible for all this upheaval. This is crazy. <laughs> Woo! Because she may feel like her, her, her options are limited. She's restricted in her choices as well. How's the four of pentacles here? Yeah, King of Wands reverse. Yeah, she's holding on to a grudge with a King of Wands reverse. Somebody who cheated on her. <laughs> Told you, King of, King of Wands reverse is definitely a hood, nigga. This is somebody who be outside, 
who's very jealous and demanding. Their ego and pride is out of control. They think they're the shit. They're flashy. They're a show off. So it's like to a, to a degree, Cancer, like I understand why this bitch did this shit. But at the same time, <laughs> me living my life the way that I do and I try to be as righteous as possible morally this shit ain't right like somebody out here dead ass wrong like for real like no matter how how mad you are at somebody you want to hold a grudge or whatever because somebody was a cheater and shit still every time this person cheated you took them back every time they lied you still entertained them every time they went out and was on some whole shit and embarrassed you you still went back and fucked them so it's just kind of like, I don't really know how to feel. I, I Like, I can't relate to that shit. Because it's like, somebody do me like that, I'm going to quit fucking with your ass, period. Yeah, King of Cups Reverse. Yeah, this is somebody who's a literal cheater and an emotional cheater. So this would be somebody's baby daddy or husband or somebody here. Somebody's an emotional cheater. They're emotional, emotionally manipulative. They play mind, They play emotional games. They take advantage of a woman's love and all that type of shit and they're a cheater an emotional cheater and a physical cheater because the king of wands is like sex the king of cups reverses emotions so this is somebody who's emotionally unavailable it's just like somebody with mommy issues why well, is this king of wands reverse this is somebody who's jealous somebody who's dirty King of Wands versus somebody who doesn't, it's like as egotistical and powerful as they are, they don't take pride in taking care of themselves. This is somebody who be like, be outside all the time, uh, running around the neighborhood with their homeboys and shit. The King of Wands versus very immature, very insecure. You know what I'm saying? They could be community dick too. It's like they didn't slip with a lot of people or that's their reputation. Why is the King of Wands reverse? Yeah, what is this? Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups reverse too. Ooh, shit. Yeah, Knight of Cups reverse is a homosexual card. King of Wands reverse and a Knight of Cups reverse. So somebody out here could be... She could have exposed the fact that this person is gay. Or they do something that's considered to be gay. Yikes. Yeah, because I opened a deck to an emperor. Yeah, Knight of Cups is somebody who's very emotionally manipulative, a charmer, a liar. Somebody who just plays so many games and makes so many promises. They come off like they're nice and sweet and romantic. But when you really get to know this person, they got an anger problem. They're insecure. They could be abusive and they just play a lot of emotional games. And somebody out here, Knight of Cups reverse, somebody definitely could be down low. Or they do something that's considered like... You know, what people would think would be homosexual. Yeah, I feel like she knew one of this person's secrets or some shit. Yeah, she knew something that this person liked to do in the bedroom or something here. I don't want to say what I'm hearing, but I'm going to say it anyway. cancer i did not expect this reading to be like this but um i'm hearing pegging if you don't know what that is google it <laughs> hey is what i'm hearing why is the knight of cups reverse this could be somebody this king of wands reverse he drinks a lot he drinks a lot or drugs a lot knight of cups reverse somebody is not authentic fake love they were never really in love they never really cared about somebody it's like they're just manipulative and a liar, a troublemaker. They they cause emotional trouble, whoever this person is. Yeah, temperance reverse. I told you this person has addictions. They have bad eating habits. They could definitely have a temper. They can have sag placements, or this could be a Sagittarius, but temperance reverse with the king of wands reverse. This is somebody who overindulges. They do shit in access. This is somebody, you know, when you hear people say, a motherfucker ain't used to shit, this is this person. So anytime they get something or they get access to something it's like they use it and abuse it to no end so say um say you give this person i don't know it could be just any random thing man just for example this is just an example this ain't got nothing to do with a reading but i'm just trying to 
explain to you how this person is. Say you had a free pass to Six Flags, right, Cancer? And you gave it to this person like, yeah, it's a free pass to Six Flags all summer. You can go as much as you want to, whatever. The average person will be like, okay, cool, that's what's up. You know, you may go once or twice during the summer or whatever. This is somebody who will keep going back to Six Flags every single day, all summer long, just because it's free, just because they got a free pass. It's like somebody who's not used to shit. They abuse everything or they do shit in access. It's just like... You tell this motherfucker, like, here, you can have, you know, I got a bottle of such and such. You know what I'm saying? I'll get you a cup and I'll pour you some. This is somebody who will take the bottle and pour half of your damn bottle in their cup. It's like somebody here is like that. Like, I don't, this person has addictions. They just overindulge in everything. I have a temperance reverse. They don't have no peace in their life. This is a really desperate person. Desperate to fuck. Like, I don't know. Somebody is. Somebody's definitely exposing their baby dad. Yeah, Seven of Cups. And this could be somebody with a lot of holes, a lot of options. The Seven of Cups, they've been talking to a lot of people or they've been in a lot of bitches' inboxes or something. Yeah, or somebody could be exposing this person as a cheater. It's just like, look, this nigga talked to men and women. Like, ooh, we cancer. Ooh, shit. Or somebody's doing this to somebody that you know. This could be one of your family members or something. Their baby mama is like earning their ass out. And like, people are like shocked. It really feels cancer. I don't know what the fuck this is. Seven of Cups Yeah, this is somebody who's lost out here. They're confused. It's like all they do is talk to hoes with the Seven of Cups. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, and somebody's like out in the cold. They're homeless. They're broke. It's like they don't have nowhere to go or people are just rejecting this person. Five of Pentacles here. Yeah, King of Swords Reverse. Yeah, so this is a narcissist that she was dealing with. Or you, Cancer. Yeah, I told her she got a baby with this person because you got a King of Swords out here and a Page of Swords. So yeah, she could have a kid with this person, this narc, for some of you. Yeah, King of Swords reverse, somebody very much bitter, a liar. But she came out as the Queen of Swords reverse. So this is like two narcissistic motherfuckers who are going against each other. But I feel like she didn't up the score on this motherfucker. Yeah, Justice reverse. This man could be a Libra. King of Wands reverse. I feel like he could be lying or somebody here is just ignorant. Is fuck and gay, ignorant and gay. <laughs> Cause the Knight of Cups reverse, King of Wands reverse, and a and the King of Swords reverse. Like this is somebody who's a Jezebel spirit. Like you're just a lying, bitter, nasty, immature bitch. Like sorry, I just so pussy. Like if I was the King of Swords reverse. This is most definitely a womanizer. Yeah, three of wands. Like, yeah, somebody could be leaving this person behind or walked away from this person. Or whatever this is that's getting exposed. Word is getting word is getting back to somebody at a distance with the three of wands here. Yeah, Ace of Wands reverse. Yeah, and Cancer, you could be like, you could be a person at a distance that's finding this out about your baby daddy. That's what I'm saying. Your your baby daddy, when when you decided like I'm not gonna deal with my baby daddy no more, you could be a Cancer man. You like I'm not gonna deal with my daddy baby daddy no more. I'm not gonna deal with my baby mama, and you distance yourself like you ain't fuck with this person or you moved away from them like you don't even live in the same city, same neighborhood, same block no more or whatever the fuck. I feel like they, they went on to mess with a narcissistic bitch, but she wasn't playing with their ass. They met their match with a karmic out here. And she's exposing something about them that may be getting back to you through the grapevine. It's like you're hearing about what this karmic feminine energy did to this man. But I feel like it's well deserved. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, oh, well. It's like, you've been turned off by this motherfucker with the ace of wands. It's just like, hell no, I'm good on this bitch. Like, I've been, I've been stopped fucking with them. Yeah, the emperor came out. Yeah, you could be dating somebody new, Cancer, with the emperor here, a real man, somebody who's resourceful, reliable. Why is the page of swords here?
Yeah, Queen of Swords reverse. I told you, King of Swords reverse, Queen of Swords reverse. They don't even speak. They're not on talking terms or they didn't block each other. Queen of Swords reverse. This is a bitter ass bitch. A like real shit. It's like she wanted to get this person back. A like real shit. And I feel like she did just that. Yeah, there's a Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Why is the Queen of Swords reverse? I don't know, Cancer. If you're in the Gemini, if you're on the Gemini Cancer Cuss, for some of you, you could be this Queen of Swords reverse. I don't know. You take it as it resonates, you know where the fuck you fit. I feel like they're both getting karma. It's like she's trying to take this nigga out, but she's already under judgment. Already, like, the Wheel of Fortune is in the reverse for the both of their ass. This narcissistic ass couple. Or this man could be on the Gemini Cancer Cusp. I don't know. When I was the Queen of Swords reverse. But they're both ignorant. They both lie. They're both bitter. <laughs> Yeah, Six of Pentacles reverse. I told you this bitch is responsible for this shit. Queen of Pentacles reverse and the Six of Pentacles reverse. She set this person up. Or she knew somebody like higher up. Because the Six of Pentacles reverse is like abuse of charity. Abuse of help. You know what I'm saying? So she could have known somebody in a position of power that, I don't know, she paid to do something. Or, yeah, she was trying to get this person set up. So I don't know. She could be rich. She could have reached out to the bitches that she know this person was cheating with. Like, yeah, bitch. Like, like, like this Queen of Swords verse. She could have went to this nigga's other options. It's like she know that this nigga be cheating and whatever. She may know who the bitches she she be cheating. He be cheating with. And so she didn't reach out to them. Like, yeah, y'all, I'm exposing for being gay on on this day or whatever or something. You know what I'm trying to say. Why six of pentacles reverse? Yeah, seven of wands. Yeah, somebody could be blocking her. Because I'm telling you, it's some type of backlash. It feels like she exposed something about somebody. But it's like... It exposed something about her too. And so now people are blocking her ass too or something. Why is the seven of wands here? Yeah, strength reverse. Or he could be blocking her ass. Strength reverse. For some of you, this could be a Leo. But strength, yeah, somebody feels extremely weak, extremely vulnerable. Somebody's a coward. And it's like they didn't got exposed and they're not even saying shit about it or they're not even explaining. Because, you know, when you when you when somebody is like attacking you or accusing you with something and you know you ain't did no shit, it's like you're not his you're not gonna hesitate to say something or be like, bitch, excuse me, or you know, you're not gonna you're not going to hesitate with taking up for yourself. But I feel like somebody out here just feels defeated. It's like they feel vulnerable. They're in this coward type of energy. And like I said, for some of you, this person could be sick. Strength reverse and the five of pentacles here. Like, hopefully this person doesn't have something. I don't know. Why is the strength reverse? It's like if somebody feels... Yeah, queen of cups reverse. Mm-mm. So it's a Queen of Swords reverse and a Queen of Cups reverse. So is it definitely a third party out here? Now, nah, Cancer, this could definitely be you because this man out here, King of Swords reverse, he's connected to somebody that he has a kid with. King of Swords reverse, Queen of Swords reverse with the Page of Swords reverse. Him and somebody got a kid together. They got a baby together. And there's a Queen of Cups reverse that this person's been cheating with. Could be a Pisces or, you know, or you, Cancer. It could be a Pisces or a Scorpio that they were cheating with. It's a Queen of Swords reverse and a Queen of Cups reverse. He could have stepped out on the Queen of Swords reverse and been messing around with the Queen of Cups reverse. But the Queen of Cups reverse is emotionally unstable. So she exposed this nigga about something about cheating. Like, yeah, this is what this nigga been doing a whole, whole time. This is also what he asked me to do. Because I'm telling you, like, the Knight of Cups reverse, the King of Wands reverse, and the Knight of Cups reverse. This is a thug-ass nigga who's, like, down low. A booty bandit low key. And this Queen of Cups reverse is just like, nigga, you gonna cheat on me? You going back and forth between me and the Queen of Swords reverse? 
Because you got a kid with her? Like, nah, nigga, watch this. Queen of Cups reverse. I'm finna expose you, nigga, because I'm in my feelings. Ooh, we. Something out here then got. Yeah, Magician reverse, because this is somebody who's playing games. Yeah, Three of Swords reverse. This is somebody who wanted to have their cake and eat it, too. I told you this was a third party. But I feel like it's over. Yeah, this is somebody who lies, just very manipulative. This is a horrible person. Whoever this man is, this could be a warlock. But it's just like, bitch, you were fucking with him? That's what I'm saying. It's like a double entendre because it's like it's like a double-edged sword. It's like, bitch, you trying to expose the nigga, but you also expose yourself because why the fuck were you even fucking with him? Like, you were okay with being the side bitch knowing that you were okay with being a queen of cups reverse knowing that this nigga was in a relationship with a queen of swords reverse. Like, and you ain't think to be like, let me stop fucking with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, now all three of them are in the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Mm -mm. It's, it could be somebody else out here that's protected from this shit, though. Somebody who's at a distance with the Three of Wands. Hopefully, that's you, Cancer. But for some of you, it might not be because your card is out here in the reverse with the Queen of Cups. This is a magician in the three of swords. Right? This is somebody who lies till half truths and shit. It's like they're just a manipulator. They'll get over on you every chance that they get because that's just in their nature. They're a loser. Yeah, two of cups reverse with the ace of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you could be getting something else. There's something else coming in for you or you could be getting proposed to with the emperor and the ace of pentacles. I feel like cancer, this shit could be at a distance from you. Because that three of wands came out. I feel like you moved to a different city, moved to a different neighborhood, moved from a fuck away from around this person. So now that this shit is being exposed, it has nothing to do with you. You're protected. Seven of wands with the emperor and the ace of pentacles. And I feel like you're getting a new opportunity, something solid with somebody else. Why the two of cups reverse? Because you know now that you and somebody were incompatible. Yeah, Ace of Swords in the upright. Yeah, so that means I'm on the money. I'm on point. Mm -mm. Ace of Swords. Yeah, I feel like the truth is out. People have clarity now of what's been going on behind the scenes. Yeah, Five of Wands. Yeah, it's like the fight is over. Or I have the Five of Wands here. Yeah, the two of wands reverse. Yeah, it's like some type of conflict is over. It's like nothing to fight about now. It's like the truth is out. The ace of swords is like everybody's exposed for doing what they did. So it's like it's no reason to fight because everybody is exposed. It's like I feel like everybody's just looking stupid now. Two of wands reverse and somebody feels like their options are restricted. They don't know what to do, where to go. They're indecisive about what path they should take. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles reverse. This is somebody who's lazy. They don't want to put in no work or effort. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reverse? This is somebody who did all of this shit and they don't have no type of skill set. It's like they don't know what they're good at in life. They could have been scamming in some more shit. Yeah, the Hermit reverse. Yeah, people don't want shit to do with somebody. Somebody's really being like shunned ostracized people are like no stay away from that motherfucker like that's really damn hundred reverse i feel like this person is like a nomad now they're just roaming around with no place to go Yeah, King of Cups reverse because all of this manipulation and shit. I told you this person was in two relationships. King of Swords reverse to the Queen of Swords reverse. King of Cups reverse to the King of, uh, King of Cups reverse. And somebody is codependent, emotionally unstable, manipulative as fuck, and down low. King of Cups reverse. And I feel like people don't want shit to do with this person now. Hermit reverse and the King of Cups reverse. Yeah, six of wands. So I feel like you can have the upper hand in this situation, Cancer or a Leo. Why's the six of wands here? Yeah, it's like somebody's seeing, it's like your name is being clear now that the truth is out. Because whoever this karmic couple is, like, I feel like this Queen of Swords reverse is the one who could have been lying on you, Cancer. Just because I feel like she's the one who's been with, because the way the cards came out, 
the king to the queen of swords reverse came out first and then the queen of cups reverse came out so i feel like he's been doing this queen of swords reverse the longest and he started you know a relationship outside of that one with a queen of cups reverse but i feel like this queen of swords reverse could have been lying on you or trying to put your name in a cancer or something but it's like now that the truth is out it's like your name is being cleared and you're winning in something six of wands ace of pentacles and the emperor Some of you can have a platform with the six of wands, or you could be a model, or you could be in a public eye, well known, popular, well liked. Yeah, eight of cups reverse, and now somebody wants to return to you with the ace of cups reverse. Somebody with abandonment issues. That's the eight of cups reverse. I'm talking about these karmics and told this man a new butthole. <laughs> Yeah, King of Pentacles here. Yeah, it's like you got somebody else. The Emperor and the King of Pentacles. It's like somebody wants to come back to you now that you're being blessed with the Ace of Pentacles. And I feel like the Ace of Pentacles is the form of a person. The Emperor is somebody reliable, somebody who's helping you out. Or this could be like a boss figure or a business owner. Somebody that could be helping you start a business or something. Or shit, somebody that you're dating. Yeah, the Hierophant. Yeah, this is a Divine Masculine. The Emperor with the Hierophant and the King of Pentacles. It could be a Taurus or an Aries. It could be an Aries, Taurus, Cusper with the Emperor and the King of Pentacles and the Hierophant. But whoever this is, or they could have Taurus or Aries in their chart. This is somebody very reliable, very old school. Yeah, Queen of Wands out here. Yeah, so I feel like you're looking good. You're with somebody stable. You're in a new relationship. Or this could be a Leo female with the Queen of Wands and the Six of Wands. Or you can have Leo in your chart. You definitely could be on the Cancer Leo cusp. Yeah, Ten of Cups. Yeah, somebody's getting married or they found their Ten of Cups. You could be in a blended family dynamic with somebody and you're happy. It's like y'all having a good time or celebrating or... But like I said, you could be getting engaged with the Ace of Pentacles and the Emperor. You're getting ready to get married for some of you. Cancer. Yeah, the star reverse. I'm telling you, somebody else, Aquarius energy, somebody else's reputation is ruined out here. They're feeling lost, defeated, hopeless. They can be sick with the star reverse and the strength reverse and the five of pentacles in the upright. They don't know where they got something from or they don't know if they can heal from something. I'm telling you, somebody here feels like a complete failure. They feel hopeless, lost. Mm -mm. Star reverse. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Yeah, and somebody may want to apologize or somebody could be crying. There could be an Aquarius that wants to apologize to you. Yeah, the Empress Reverse. This could be a mother figure as well. That's the Empress Reverse here. Somebody could be pregnant. Like it could be another feminine energy out here who's pregnant by this person with the Empress Reverse. Ooh, we yeah, I'm like this person has caused a lot of havoc. Yeah, four of wands reverse. Yeah, he could have been living with somebody. Four of wands reverse. Well, like I said, Cancer, if you're getting ready to marry somebody, you're marrying somebody that could be older than you with the Hierophant and the Emperor. This person could have been married before. They could have been a father. And then, shit, they ex-wife or, or their baby mother is, like, tripping and shit, too. So, it's just, like, it's, like, your ex's bullshit is coming up in this reading. And then, it's, like, I don't know what the fuck wrong with these hoes. Yeah, Six of Cups. Oh, the six of cups here. Yeah, and the six of swords here. Yeah, I feel like you found a soulmate. This could be a high-level soulmate with the six of cups and the six of swords. And I feel like you're moving on. 
to peaceful, calmer times, stability. It's like you're moving on. Some of you could be going on a trip or a cruise or something. You could be saying 666. Yeah, like you could be getting this tea and you're just like, ooh, we cancer. Like, ooh, child. Yeah, look at you. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. So, yeah, I feel like you look good and you're about your money. You're about your bag. You're taking care of home. And the King of Pentacles came out. Like, you're in a solid, stable relationship that's leading to marriage or you're engaged, getting ready to get married or getting ready to get engaged. It's like you moved on from this shit, but it's like... Because the Six of Swords can be like your spirit guys moved you away from a situation and you may not have all the answers at the time when you were initially called to leave this person behind. But I feel like now that you have Three of Wands and the Six of Swords, I feel like spirit, your guides are revealing to you exactly why you needed to leave this person alone. Because this is somebody who is very nasty, very down low. They're not living in their truth. They're sleeping around. They can have a disease that they're passing around. And it's like you're now getting answers to why you had to leave this person behind or it wasn't meant for you to be together. This just was somebody who was meant to teach you a lesson. I feel like this person had fucked up a lot of bitches' lives. A queen of swords is in reverse. A queen of, um, and a queen of cups is in the reverse. Yeah, the high priestess. I told you I was picking up on high priestess energy. Yeah, so some of you could be readers with the high priestess and the queen of pentacles. Or you can have a business as a reader. Or you have some type of spiritual business. Yeah, but I feel like you knew this anyway. With the high priestess, you knew this about this person. Or somebody could be a Capricorn out here with the queen of pentacles and the high priestess. There could be a Capricorn out here who's a high priestess. But yeah, I feel like you knew this deep down inside about this person. You just didn't, you weren't going to be the one to expose it. I feel like in time, you knew that this person eventually would get exposed. And I feel like it's happening. Because this person, they could have lost a lot of weight or they look really bad or they just look like, I don't know. How's the high priestess here? Yeah, it's a twin flame union out here with the high priestess and the hierophant. So you could be in a twin flame union or if you're not the person who got away from this motherfucker, you're this queen of cups in the reverse. Yeah, eight of wands reverse. Yeah, because whoever the high priestess is, she has this person blocked from her past. This king of wands reverse, king of swords reverse, knight of swords, I mean knight of cups reverse person. This person has been blocked for a long time. Yeah, five of cups and she don't feel sorry for the ass either. Yeah, it's like you're building some something else with somebody else. Three of pentacles with the six of swords it's like you're building something with somebody else with this emperor yeah it's like this karmic cup was finally being exposed mm -hmm. yeah knight of swords here yeah this is some type of bad boy somebody who goes I feel like this person still out doing the same shit. That's how you know somebody is crazy. Nine of swords and a five of swords. They're still out here doing the same shit. Yeah, justice reverse. This could be a loony ass Libra man or a Gemini man. It's like somebody out here is crazy. Justice reverse. They got legal problems or motherfuckers are trying to sue their ass and shit. Yeah, Seven of Swords. They're out here sneaking around. Knight of Swords, Five of Swords, Justice Reverse, and the Seven of Swords. I'm telling you, somebody wants to be unalived or something. Like, this is like, yeah, Page of Cups. Yeah, somebody's trying to sneak back towards you and be trying to act like they're innocent. Page of Cups. It's like, this person might not know that you that you already know about them being exposed. You already know about this, or you're going to get information about this third party that they were in. And what happened to them so yeah this is like a karmic exposing some type of nasty ass man and it's like but this man doesn't know that you know about him getting exposed he don't know that you're tapped into that high priestess he th whoever this crazy ass man is he has no idea that you as a high priestess 
you already got the tea. You already got the scoop, the drop on this motherfucker. So they're coming in towards you on some sneaky shit. They got ulterior motives with the seven of swords trying to come in like they're innocent page of cups. Because I feel like this person may be holding a vendetta against you. Whoever this, whoever this man is, magician reverse, knight of swords, five of swords, knight of cups, temperance reverse. Like this is this is somebody who's crazy. I feel like they just go around ruining people's lives and shit. And I feel like they're coming back towards you because they feel like they missed one. Five of swords here is just like they could be doing this out of revenge because they got exposed. So it's just like they're trying to get back at everybody. But I thought you ain't talked to this person in a long ass time. Eight of Wands reverse, you didn't have this person blocked. You know, but you've been hearing through gossip, rumors of what's been going on with this person. And I feel like they're still trying to make their way back to you to get their lick back. With the Five of Swords here, it's like somebody who's trying to win at all costs. But this strategy isn't going to work. It's stupid. Five of Swords, Seven of Swords, like somebody's being real sneaky. Seven of Swords here. And page of cups, they gonna come back towards you trying to apologize or acting innocent, acting like they want to be nice or they weren't, they haven't been doing nothing all this time. Yeah, the chair reversed, but something here is out of control now. Something here went too fucking far, but I feel like this person's so far gone. It's like they're still, it's like somebody out here is trying to take everybody down with them. So if you're this high priestess, queen of pentacles, queen of wands person, you need to be aware. Yeah, the devil reverse. This is somebody you cut off like a long time ago. Somebody who's just too toxic and karmic. Yeah, the hangman. And they're stuck in something that they can't get out of. Yeah, three of cups reverse. I told you this messy ass situation got crazy. Cancer Pisces energy with the hangman. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, wee. I have the four of swords here. Yeah, the moon. Yeah, so I feel like it's vice versa. So it's some karmic cancers and it's some high vibing cancers because the chariot is your card and it came out in the reverse along with the queen of cups reverse. Others of you... The moon in the world in the four swords. A lot of you are protecting your peace. You've leveled up. It's like you're using your intuition. It's like you're keeping your blessings to yourself with the moon card here. You could be on vacation or literally on a honeymoon with the moon in the four swords. You could be traveling across the world or going out of the country or something here. It's like a chapter of your life is closed. You've leveled up. You made it to the next level and this is what hap what's happening to this ex that could have really did a number on you in the past with that three of swords energy Ooh, we or shit that queen of cups for us to be a scorpio female but i got heavy pisces and scorpions on her yeah nine of pentacles yeah you could be an entrepreneur or you know how to get money or you've been through enough life cycles to where you just you don't even fool with this type of shit. You can't circle with the moon and the upright. Yeah, hey, you've released this. Ten of Wands reverse here. It's like, this shit is not your problem. Whatever this person has, they didn't give it to you. For some of you, you don't have kids with this person, so you don't give a fuck. Like, real shit. Yeah, the Two of Swords. Yeah, it's like you don't care. Two of Swords. It's like you're impartial. It's like if somebody were to ask you about how you feel, it's just like you don't feel no type of way. It's like that's the energy they put out there. That's the energy that they getting back. So it's just kind of like, oh, well, shit. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles reverse. I'm talking about this person cursed. Their, they cursed themselves. Like real shit. Yeah, judgment. I'm telling you, this person is under judgment. They, they're taking huge financial losses. They're being exposed for faking their lifestyle, acting like they got money, or they're a part of some corrupt organization that does weird shit for money. Like, yeah, the tower reverse. Yeah, I'm telling you, this tower just happened is what it feels like. Yeah, death in the reverse. Heavy Scorpio energy. 
this person refused to change, man. Like, this is somebody who's a real deal menace. Four of Cups reverse. And I'm telling you, this person has some type of plan. Even after getting exposed, even after all of this shit, this person still has a vendetta against you. They want to get you for some reason, Cancer. I have no idea. It's just like, look at this shit. The Seven of Pentacles is a plan waiting on something. Four of Cups reverse is returning to somebody that you feel like you missed the opportunity with. And look at that page of wands. Somebody's like reaching out. But the Five of Swords is out here. So in the Seven of Swords, this person's reaching out because they want to try to fuck you up like their life is fucked up. So yeah, be vigilant. Keep your head on the swivel, Cancer, because somebody has it out for you. It's like they're just, they're so jealous and so envious. And I don't know. Like, I don't, this is somebody who likes attack. They, they attack spiritual women with the high priestess or something. Because I don't know why this person has it out for you so bad. Like, they've already ruined enough bitches' lives. I don't know why they keep trying to come for you. Like, this is their plan, literally. They're being strategic. Seven of Swords with the Seven of Pentacles. This is their plan. It's a dumbass plan with the Five of Swords. <laughs> but this is how they think they're going to win or get back or be able to get in good with you like what is their why why are they what is their intent what is all this sneaky shit about why do they want to get back with cancer so bad why who you heard that horn I told you i ain't making this shit up the sun because of their ego with the sun reversed because of their ego that is like crazy. So did you hurt somebody's ego? Yeah, they feel like you're spoiled. You're getting what, what you want. Justice reverse out here. They feel like it's not fair. So it's just like they want to like come rain on your parade. They want to fuck your shit up because their shit is fucked up. Pretty much. Yeah, because you triggered this person. Or what you're doing now, this lover's connection that you're in, traveling, being happy, living your life is really triggering somebody. And nothing that this person tried to do worked. Making you jealous of these lame ass bitches didn't work. Or none of this shit. The only thing they did was ruin their own life. And they steady keep coming for you. Is steady going to get their shit fucked up. I don't know, Cancer. But anyway, this has been your reading, okay? Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. And I will holler at you later. Peace.